Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to another Wine Wednesday. I am not drinking wine today because I am on a diet and I have self-control. But today is like my last day of my diet that I'm seeing if it works, so I'm not going to sabotage it by drinking wine. So, um, I actually was going to... What? There's a cat here. Um, I actually was going to film a video about serial killers because you know that's like a normal thing to do I was like looking into it and it really fascinates me and I think it's really interesting and really fucked up um, but I didn't know if you guys would want to like hear these stories because they were so friggin brutal and gruesome and I like don't know if the, if you guys want to see a video on like terrifying serial killers but if you do Definitely comment down below because that stuff is really interesting to me. Like, I don't know why. I'm really creepy. Today's video is going to be a creepy video. It is going to be on the urban legend of Mothman. I don't know if you guys have heard about Mothman, but I have been fascinated ever since my sister told me about him in like seventh grade. This story is supposedly real, um, and that's why it really freaks me out because a lot of the stories you hear, you're like, okay, yeah, like, mm, like Slender Man. I don't know about him, but I really do think that the Mothman story has truth to it. So in Point Pleasant, Virginia is where this all originated and happened. Point Pleasant was a small town in West Virginia that was sitting on the Ohio River. You could take the bridge and go to Ohio that way. This happened in the 1960s. So this group of kids, or like they were young adults, I guess they were like 20s, they were driving along and there was this abandoned TNT plant and they stopped by the gates of it and I guess they used to hang out there because it was abandoned and stuff and all of a sudden they see these red lights like near the gate and they were like oh my god someone else is here and all of a sudden the lights start coming towards them and they realize that it is a a seven foot tall huge figure with glowing red eyes and they said it had wings on its back and it looked like larger than a human if that makes any sense so they hit the gas they go like over 100 miles an hour trying to get away from this thing and it followed them it lit oh that creeps me out it literally was following their car they pulled up to the courthouse and ran up to the deputy they were freaking out and the deputy actually believed them because he said he knew them their whole lives. They weren't liars, like they were truthful people. And he really believed that they were like terrified after seeing this thing. So after that, a bunch of the locals started like combing through the woods at this TNT plant hoping to find this creature and kill it or whatever. The Mothman didn't show up then, it showed up at a woman's house who wasn't looking for it. This woman pulls up to her friend's house um, with her baby and is getting out of the car and she sees this same creepy ass fucking owl moth guy standing like 10 feet away from her just like towering over her with glowing red eyes and they all all the witnesses that's the weirdest part they all had the same description of this creature the girl actually drops like to the ground with her child and was there for like minutes just laying over her baby staring into the eyes of this creature when finally like she realized like she needed to get the fuck out of there so she like picked up her baby ran in the house and like the mothman never attacked anybody i honestly believe that it was a warning to the residents of that town because of what happened because in 1967, the Point Pleasant Bridge, or the Silver Bridge that crossed over the river, people said that they saw him on the bridge, like, before this whole event happened. It was almost like a warning to these people, like, get the fuck out of here, almost, because... People saw this creature, kept seeing this creature, kept having the same description of this creature until 1967, December 15th, the bridge with was during rush hour, collapsed and killed 46 people. And after that, no one ever saw the Mothman again. And like, I'm getting goosebumps um, telling this story because I really do believe like there is 
creatures out there. And like people have their theories, people think that the Mothman was a product of the mutation from the TNT plant. I don't think so, but I don't have an explanation of what I think it is. Like could be like an extraterrestrial being. I think it was some sort of prophecy to tell people, to warn people before this event happened. Um, but it's very interesting because there's so much, there's so many crazy, awful events that happen in the world and like for this small town in West Virginia to have like this creature lurking about warning them, I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing to think about. It's like, is there, are there creatures that warn people? Um, and maybe he never came back because of the reaction people gave him. But yeah, people always described him as having huge wings, um, red eyes, and being very tall. And they also said he didn't fly, he like floated. Like he did, like when he flew away, he didn't flap his wings, which you normally would think that would happen. But I guess that he would just float away, like float on out of there. Like that is the creepiest shit I've ever heard in my life. Um, and it's just weird to know, like these police officers were getting the same description of this same made up creature, you know what I mean? The fact that the police officer thinks it was real because of how scared they were. Like I've always said, I'm like, if someone comes to me and they're like, dude, I just saw a fucking vampire rip out someone's neck, like, we gotta go. I'd be like, holy shit, you're right, we do gotta go. I wouldn't be like that asshole in every movie that's like, you are crazy, let's just go to sleep with all the windows open, you stupid bitch. Like, I hate those people in movies because I'm like, you're not listening. I feel like if I felt that someone was being honest, I would be like, you're right. I believe you, I didn't see it, but I believe you because that's a weird fucking thing to say if you're making it up. There has been other sightings, there's even a movie on the Mothman prophecies which I actually watched and I was like, not impressed, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys like this urban legend. If you want me to do more of these type videos or even videos on crazy serial killers or conspiracy theories, leave me a comment down below letting me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!